Patrick Gray works for ISS, or Nostradame ISS, as I like to call them. <laughs> Gray regularly sends AlertCon emails to announce his firm's internet threat level predictions. Nostradame ISS stood at AlertCon 2 as a precaution on New Year's Day. AlertCon 2 means increased vigilance in action required due to focused, patterned attacks, the company explains on its website. They dropped to AlertCon 1 on 4 January and stayed there until 11 February. AlertCon 1 reflects the malicious, determined global 24 by 7 attacks experienced by all networks. Or, to summarize AlertCon 1 in a single word, <laughs> normal. <laughs> ISS jumped to AlertCon 3 as a precaution on 12 February. Their website reveals it means increased attacks against specific targets or vulnerabilities on a scale that is unusually high. Immediate action required. What would justify such a dire alert con? ISS has learned of a powerful SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, attack tool that may be circulating in the computer underground, Gray's email alert warned. The circulation of this tool may lead to the widespread use of new exploits to crash or compromise vulnerable systems, he went on to say. Nearly every operating system, router, switch, cable, or DSL modem, and firewall is shipped with an SNMP service. <laughs> Page 2. Or, to summarize Gray's concern in a single word, WOLF! <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that one, huh? Such is the threat posed by the devastating, critical, hideous, catastrophic, unprecedented, horrifying, deadly, <gasps> macabre, serious exploit lurking deep within the bowels of SNMP. <laughs> One of Gray's co-workers, Chris Rowland, almost blew a gasket when he talked to a reporter about the SNMP threat. This is the most widespread security vulnerability I can ever remember being reported, he wailed. <laughs> Rowland has a short memory, but <laughs> let's not digress. <laughs> Gray breathed a sigh of relief in an email alert two days later. We have lowered the alert con to two, as we have not yet observed an abnormal increase in SNMP traffic, he announced. However, the threat of the SNMP vulnerability remains very high, and if an increase in activity is detected, we will increase the alert con accordingly. <laughs> ISS remained vigilant at AlertCon 2 all the way through 25 February. They meticulously scanned the internet for SNMP catastrophes, and Gray issued seven more email alerts to remind netizens of his anticipations. Ooh, page 3. On 26 February, Gray announced ISS lowered the projected threat level to AlertCon 1. The threat of an exploit against the recently published SNMP vulnerability still remains, he reiterated. However, we presently are not observing any indicators from our global sensor database that the vulnerabilities are being actively exploited. <laughs> In other words, the actual internet threat remained normal during higher alert cons. Yet the return to peaceful bliss at ISS lasted for only a day. The internet jumped to AlertCon 2 as a precaution on 27 February because of a vulnerability found in the PHP hypertext processor scripting language, Gray warned. Naturally, the threat of an exploit against the recently published SNMP vulnerability still remains. ISS anticipates remaining at AlertCon 2 through Saturday, though it may become necessary to raise the AlertCon if we observe an increase in the PHP or SNMP traffic. <laughs> I should note, Microsoft users generally don't need to worry about these SNMP and PHP vulnerabilities. If, on the other hand, you use non-Windows products, my condolences. Page 4. 
Gray's team previously ratcheted up to Alert Con 3 as a precaution on 11 September when the Twin Towers fell. The firm's clairvoyant psychotic no, wait a minute. <clears throat> the firm's clairvoyant psychics acted on premonitions surrounding Osama bin virus. Our monitored networks do not show any unusual activity at this time, but our security operations centers are at a heightened state of alert as we watch for any indications that e-commerce is also being targeted, an unnamed ISS spokesman said. Or, to summarize Gray's concern in five words... <laughs> Turn your volume down. <clears throat> I'm going to get through this. <clears throat> or to summarize Gray's concern in five words, there might be a wolf! <laughs> I'm throwing papers all over here. Oh, give me a second. I don't know if I'm going to leave this in or not. <clears throat> nah, I probably will. <laughs> I like having fun with my audience. <laughs> Let's see. Or to summarize, there might be a wolf. Okay. <clears throat> I will get through this. <clears throat> ISS lowered the alert con to two after Osama failed to strike at the internet with the speed and venom of a cobra. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm having fun with this one. <laughs> uh, where was I? Ah, a week later, though, they re-raised the alert con to three when the Nimda virus threatened to do what Osama did not. Gray's team later went back to alert con one after Nimda fizzled. <laughs> Again, peaceful bliss lasted for only a day. A deadly Nimda redux threat forced ISS to return to alert con 2 as a precaution, but they again scaled back to 1 when the Nimda redux fizzled. <laughs> fizzled comes directly from their website. <laughs> I don't make this stuff up, folks. I just report it for your amusement. Page 5. <laughs> Gray's team again declared Alert Con 2 for a few days as a precaution when U.S. warplanes started to bomb Afghanistan. <laughs> this leads to an obvious critique. Why didn't they declare Alert Con 3? Surely Al-Qaeda's high-tech cave dwellers would martyr their PCs to drive out the American infidels. Surely Osama's cyber terrorists would take over a satellite and plunge it into the White House or remotely steer a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier into the path of another warship. Nostradam ISS waited three days for Boolean vengeance to erupt, but... Al-Qaeda didn't retaliate with a 500-byte ping packet for every 500-pound bomb. The internet breathed a collective sigh of relief when the alert con dropped to one. However, Gray's team returned to alert con two as a precaution when New York City received a cyber threat. <laughs> it stayed at alert con two for four days before dropping back to one. Now, at this point, you might wonder if ISS has a prediction level higher than 3. Oh, you bet. Alert Con 4 reflects a catastrophic problem for a network or a group of networks whose survival depends on immediate, decisive action. <laughs> Gray's team went to 4 after they took part in an unprecedented press conference where FBI's National Infrastructure Protection Center announced the imminent death of the Internet at the hands of the Code Red Worm. Or, to summarize Gray's concern in three words, turn down your volume, <laughs> DEAD SHEEP EVERYWHERE! <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <clears throat> oh, there we are. You could almost smell the mint jelly back then. <laughs> Amazingly, the internet somehow survived, despite a horrifying lack of immediate decisive action on the part of users worldwide. <laughs> Go figure. Page six. 
So, we stand right now at AlertCon 2. At least, that's the number we stand at as I cut this audio. I pray the internet survives. But I won't fret too much, because I know ISS employees will keep their eyes open for danger. Gray's team doesn't know for certain when Wiley Coyote might show up, but they'll continue to fright <clears throat> they'll continue to warn Roadrunner users whenever they think it may or may not be safe to travel the information superhighway. ISS remains ever vigilant. <laughs> I'm Rob <laughs> Wolf <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Turn your volume down. <laughs> wolf, wolf, wolf! <laughs> wolf! There might be a wolf! Dead sheep everywhere! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble on this one. <clears throat> ah, well. <laughs> Actually, I'm not in trouble. Patrick Gray's in trouble. <laughs> He's never going to live this one down. I am Rob Rosenberger for vMyths. That's V-M-Y-T-H-S dot com. Truth about computer virus hysteria. Be there or be scared. <laughs>